no person. We are recording. We are going. We're doing our thing. Hello. Happy Monday, everybody. Oh, I got something in my eye now. Happy Monday, every morning. Every, happy Monday, every morning. Happy Monday, people. Got today's workout here. It's a nice conditioning workout with a nice little twist here. I think we're going to enjoy this. We've got some um, nice focused upper body work, some good work. Hi, Stephen Schilling. Some good work through uh, lower body, core, a little bit of... Um, a uh, little bit of athletic stuff. So I think it'll be fun for everybody. So let's start today's workout uh, in a, uh, on, on the mat. Let's go to all fours. It's Monday morning. Who knows what's been going on the weekend? But just go ahead and take a breath and round the back up. Ah, take a breath and round the back up. Right. Let me just meet one and then the other. Just let that back. Seeing what's possible, as always, seeing how it's doing. Arms are long, we're breathing. Ah, uh, yep. Now let's go ahead and take, I'm going to go left leg forward in this nice deep lunge. I'm going to extend right leg as much as I can. I'm going to hang out in this nicely lunged position here. Arms are long. I'm going to keep my left knee close to my left shoulder, right? So it's not flaring way out like this. It's, it's close in. I've got, it's going to uh, create a little stretch in my left hip. And then I'm going to activate my glute on my right side. Then I'm going to very gently and slowly reach my left arm up and away. Oh, I'm really going to keep reaching and stretching through that left leg. Then I'm going to slowly bring that left arm back down. And then slowly work the left leg back again. I'm going to hang out down dog just a minute. Arms are long. Oh, just enjoy that nice kind of morning, easy stretch here, right? Monday morning, just bring the get the case out a little bit. You can shift the hips a little bit left and right, and that will give you a little bit of work through the lats, which is always good. And then let's slowly take the right leg to the front again, and now pull the right knee toward the right shoulder. Extend left leg and just hang out right there. Just got a couple people on today. The cooler weather, people are like, I can't get up. I can't get up. All right, slowly reach the right arm up and back. Gentle twist through the spine, nothing too aggressive. Keep the left leg really straight. Left glute alive, you can manage it. Slowly take that right arm down. Now we've got the sequence, right? Down dog, one side forward, down dog, other side forward. So I want you to find your own pace through this, making sure the breath is nice and smooth. So we're still waking up, right? So take the time you need, find the sequence, right? I don't care how long you take. You might take, oh, you might spend, I don't know, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. That's fine, right? I want you to stretch how you want to stretch. So I'm giving you this basic form. And the only thing is you got to keep breathing and you got to stay present for each movement, right? So you don't want to just kind of fall asleep in a down dog, right? So that's what I'm saying. Right arm up. I guess I'm coaching you through this as if you were sticking with me, but again, you can go faster or slower. It's up to you. I'm taking some time here. Bill, get that left right movement. Left right comes forward. Straight, uh, left, uh, right leg straight. And my dyslexia, huh? Now I confuse arms and legs. <laughs> Maybe when I'm down here on all fours, maybe that's it. Arms become legs and vice versa. Take it back and see. I'm going to do one more side. You can, uh, you can work how you wish. Good. Now let's drop down back to all fours. And let's do a little bit of activation of the knees so the whole rear kinetic chain here. So I'm going to extend my left leg back, make sure that toe is toward the ground. And now I'm going to pulse both left and uh, left leg and right arm up to the sky. Okay. A couple pulses there, and then I'll place it down. Do the same thing, right leg, left arm. Pulsing up. Bring in that kinetic chain, that posterior chain to life. Let's do one more on the first side, left leg extend, right arm extend. Nice. Opening up the front, nice and 
down. Same thing on this side, right arm, or right leg, left arm. All right, it's very good. Good, now just do a couple more cat cows, round it up. Round down, up. Oh! Let's come and stand. We do a couple standing drills here, standing movements. All right. So let's get into our uh, great cook to multi or multi planer work. So go ahead and take. Let's take the right leg, step it forward into a kind of partial lunge here. Let's drive the arms up, open up the front. Okay. Then right leg steps back. Okay. And then um, we'll take the right leg stepping back behind us, so we can kind of reverse it. Okay. So. Right leg steps forward, swing it forward, we'll take it back. Forward and back. And forward and up. Back and through one more time. Forward and up. And through. Let's do the same thing. Left leg steps forward, forward and up with the arms. Back and through with the arms. Forward and up, lunge forward. Through, lunge back, a couple more, forward. Let me stop in the middle like I was before, but I feel it's pretty slow now. Good, let's leave that alone. All right, good. Let's do some side to side. I haven't done this one in a while. So take your time. I've heard from, among other people, Elizabeth Rayner, who's here right now, that the side to side one, it doesn't feel that great. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, clunky. It shouldn't feel so good doing it. I understand. So when, when that's the case, just don't use this big range of motion, right? So I'm gonna step out with my right leg. My left leg's gonna be straight. Partial lunge on that side. I'm gonna reach over from the direction I came from. That should, and, the, and, and just don't go too far into it, right? Then I'm gonna step, let's just step back. We'll do those separate. Step back, step out, reach the direction we came. Step out, my trailing leg is straight. It's the direction we came, one more time. Here we go, step out. You can't. Same thing, other way, other way. Left leg now going to step out, reach the direction you came from. Reach the direction you came from. Trailing leg straight, a couple more. Reach this direction. This time, reach this direction. Okay, good. Now I'm going to step over with the right leg. I'm stepping across, and I'm going to go this way. Okay, come back. Step across. Reach over. Step back. Reach over. Back one more time, reach over, step back. So take your time and that will help. Now I'll do the same thing on the side. I'll cross my other leg over, reach it across the way I came. Reach it across the way I came. Now feel the ankles, the lats, the rib cage, all these things super important. Nice, good. Let's do a little rotational work. So now the right leg's gonna be planted, arms are gonna be extended out. I'm gonna step around. This is a nice transverse plan, kind of a fun one. After the last two that felt kind of restricted, this one's kind of the free and easy one. Right? We turn, keeping the one foot planted. Don't let it rotate. Okay, one more time. Back. Now let's do the same thing going the other way. Other leg plants. Let's swing around this way. Good, nice job. But do just a little bit of work through the shoulders, take them up and over. Different kind of warm up today. Multi directional, multi planar. Let's go up the other way. Nice. Good. And let's go a little bit of uh, work with the shoulders. Let's go Y. The letter Y, the letter T, up to the side, the letter W, this one, and the letter L. This way. Let's repeat that. Why? Open the chest. T. Open the chest. W. Chest. L. Twice more. Y. T. All right. Very good. Have yourself a quick drink of water. We'll get into today's awesomeness. Um, yeah, which is gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be kind of fun. Let's see, we obviously need our dumbbells. 
let's get the, well, it's going to be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, so we should be fine in terms of transition one to move to the other. Nothing too particularly fancy today. It's the order, and it's the, um, it's the, uh, it's the particular exercises that I've chosen. And what, basically what, the, what the, the move is, is you've got some upper body, right? Or sorry, the lower body. And we're going to run through all the upper body moves, some shoulder work, right? Into some back work, into some chest work, into some arm work, right? And then we're going to finish with some abs and some lower body again. That's kind of the sequence here. 10 different moves back to back, 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 back. And we'll go through three times. Okay, so 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to start with jumping jacks. We're going to start in about five seconds here. Just get yourself feeling lighthearted and ready to train. Let's take it up. Easy jumping jacks. Jacks. First round, we'll think maybe 65, 70%, somewhere in there in terms of effort. Focus mainly is on range of motion and is on excellent execution of each movement, activating the right muscles, stretching the right muscles. Okay, keep that going. About 10 more seconds. We're getting nice and loose here. All right. And there's three, two, and stop. Good. Get your dumbbell set up underneath you so you can elevate your heel. This is very important, this is a requirement of this. So elevate the heels on the dumbbells. We're gonna squat down, allowing the knees to travel forward, and then we're gonna come up. Now I want you to work with a fairly slow, manageable pace. Not cranking through, you wanna really land, keeping those legs really active at the bottom of the move, right? So that's about the pace I want you to work. I want you to allow those knees to drift forward and we're slowly going to improve the range of motion on that and the knee health. And stop right there. The next movement is going to be a combo movement, lateral raise, front raise. We're going right into shoulders here. So we're gonna stand tall. We're gonna go lateral raise. And then we're gonna take the dumbbells, thumbs up, front raise. More or less like a just, uh, about the 45 degree angle there, thumbs up, lateral and forward, okay? Working through that, we're gonna be looking at about another 10 seconds. This is good. And then we're gonna go on to the RDL row. We're gonna get a little work through the hamstrings. Good job. Good, leave that alone. Okay, uh, in, on to the um, RDL and the row, okay? The RDL and the row. So get your feet on skis, okay? Big chest, go ahead and fold it over. Nice stretch through those hamstrings. Give me a couple of nice rows here. With that stretch in the hamstrings, then come up. Fold, back is flat, double row, and bring up, okay? Keep working through that for our total 30 second time period. We got about 10 seconds to go on that. Yes, okay. Nice, three, and two and one, good. Now, come on to your back. We're gonna take our dumbbells with us, all right? In this position, we're gonna lift the hips as high as we can off the ground. Then with the dumbbells like this, we're gonna push them like we're trying to throw them through the sky and then we're slowly gonna lower down. Elbows hit and then push like you're trying to launch them into space and then back again. Top of the movement, you want the shoulder blades to lift off the ground a little bit. Okay, so that should be kind of explosive. It's kind of a nice alternative to our push-up. Okay, keep running through that. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. Good job. So you feel this is all kind of upper body work, really activating all the different angles through the shoulders. Three, two, one, stop. Good, come to standing. Let's hit some biceps. Okay, so did this the other day with Erin Schleybaugh by herself and it was fun. So we're gonna go close together hammer curls, wide apart super knee. Close together, hammer, neutral position, wide apart, super. Okay, keep that rolling. Wide, there we go. Together, good job. And we're working one. And we're working together. Okay, keep running through that. That's our biceps work for right now. I'm gonna switch over to triceps in just a moment. Give me 10 more seconds on this one. Ha, huh. yes. It's the morning, friends. It's Monday. And let's hold it right there. Good. Switching over to overhead tricep extensions. You can also do um, you can also do uh, kickbacks if you want to. So go ahead and take dumbbells. Here's here's our normal option. Nice stretch. Feel that nice stretch, and then bring it overhead. Stretch it nicely. 
for your overhead. If you prefer, and you can do it with immaculate form, you can also do the kickback. A lot of times people have trouble with this move because the hinge position, because they mess up the hinge position, they round their backs, right? They don't know how to do that. Or they do something where they're swinging the dumbbells and nothing's really happening. So that's why I encourage the overhead one is a little, a little harder to cheat. Five more seconds. Okay, good. I just want to go forward. Okay, stop. All right, good. Take the dumbbell or dumbbells. I would say both because this is a lower body move. Assume a wide stance, toes pointing out. We're going to hang the dumbbells down between the legs. What we're going to do is we're going to lower ourselves as far as we can, keeping the torso upright. Then we're going to drive the feet together and squeeze the adductors, the inside thighs, and the glutes as we come up. So take it down, squeeze it in. So this is very balletic, right? It could be a, it's, it's often called a, it's called a ballet squat or a sumo squat, depending on which body type you aspire to. <laughs> sumo squat or ballet squat. Isn't it interesting? You could get both. <laughs> All right, so 10 more seconds. Okay. And that's good. Working on now a reverse lunge. Hips should be nice and warmed up at this point. So reverse lunge, and let's add a rotation opposite, uh, uh, a cross body rotation at the top. So step one leg back, reach across, rotate the body away from that back leg. So we go back this way, we reach across. We go back this way, we reach up and across. Okay, makes sense? You should be getting a nice active stretch through that whole quad of that back stepping leg, right? The quad and the hip there. So reach across as you step back, yeah? Adding that rotation, which I do with a number of movements, right? Just adds, adds this nice dynamic element that isn't quite so rigid, all right? Let's go for 10 more seconds on this, and we got one more move with the old abs here. Five seconds, and there's three, two, stop. Good. Let's go to the back. I'm gonna do alternating leg lowering with a double leg lowering option. So we're gonna take it up, we should be nice and stretched out in the hamstring by now. So lower one side, and the opposite side. So just like um, just like the fly ladder, opposite side, right? Now, if you can, go both, but only if you can keep that lower back properly situated on the ground, okay? So you see that I'm kind of in position, right? You can't do it here if you have neck problems, but I'm sure if you can, to reach up, stay tight, uh, to reach up and really try to get a nice contraction through that stomach the whole time going to be a little bit better. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Good job, Stephen and Elizabeth. Well done. And let's hold it right there. Okay, good. Good. Well done. Take a walk around. See how you feel, right? I wouldn't say that today, I don't know, it's, it's, it, it, it may be the case for you. Uh, this is not a particularly cardio challenging kind of thing. It's more about, can we focus precisely on that proper form? Can we get the proper tempo? Can we get the proper range of motion? Some days I'm all about let's move fast. It is more about like good range of motion, good muscle activation, good awareness in the body, okay? And so think of that as your goal. Now, this being the second set, let's see if we can turn up the intensity just a little tiny bit. So having said that, right? Now I'm saying turn up the intensity and the focus and the attention just a touch and we'll get a little bit more um, a little bit more bang for our buck here, my friends. Okay, so once again, starting with our jump jacks. Here we go. We're going to start in five seconds. Take a nice deep breath. Be glad you're awake. Be glad you're alive. Be glad we're into the workout here. Go ahead and into a nice jumping jack. Good full range of motion. Let those arms really move, swing in their sockets. I keep rolling through that for uh, 30 seconds. We got about 15 more to go. Okay, so big range of motion. The hips, feel that the hips are now a little bit more awake and alive. Same with the shoulders. The shoulders can move a little bit better, right? We're a little less creaky now, yeah? The whole rib cage is moving nicely. Three, two, one. Okay, good. Come back to our squat, right? This is a new one on us. This is a new one on us, right? Usually I don't really care where the knees go today. I'm a little concerned about that. We're letting the knees go forward over those toes, keeping that torso upright. Now it's really important to keep the legs alive at the bottom of the move, right? Not to, not to relax fully into that squat, right? It's also really important to work with a slow tempo. We don't want to bounce out of that low position. We want to stay strong and we want to stay active. 
through that lower body, okay? So upright posture, let's keep going for a couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Good, our next move is going to be our lateral raise and our front raise. So stand tall, right? Stand nicely tall, feet about shoulder width. Take a breath, here we go. Lateral raise and then forward raise. We do wanna go kind of thumbs up. Now I'm going about to top of head level on this, on both of them, right? We don't wanna go so far up like that. We go about there, top of head, eye level maybe, roughly there. You know, you'll get a nice contrast, just play with it, right? We just don't wanna go super, this up high is really rough on the shoulders, all right? This up high isn't really gonna hurt you, but it doesn't do much for your shoulders, right? So find the level where it's like, okay, that's about as hard as my shoulders are gonna work, and then take it down. So nice, uh, nice focus on all that, all right? Five more seconds and we got a nice RDL into the row. Three, two, one, okay, good. Dumbbells in hand, RDL into the row. So find this RDL, folks. You gotta find that nice straight hinge. That's very important. So move it over. We got a nice stretch through the hamstring. You don't feel your hamstring stretching. Turn your tailbone up a little bit more. The butt, push the butt out, and you'll get a better traction. All right? Get a better stretch in the hamstring. Just what you want. You want some length in those hands, right? Good old length. Let's go for 10 seconds in this move. I'll be on to the row. Five seconds. And next move is going to be our little modified bench press. Okay, stop. Take your dumbbells with you when you take it down into this hips up position, right? Now it's important. Okay, so start pressing. Push. It's important that we don't have the legs like way out. We want to make sure that the legs are um, staying over, the knees are staying over the heel, right? You don't want them super wide. You want to have a little activity. If, you know, if I had it, if I thought about this, I would actually have you put a, a pillow or something between your knees. So you got a co-contraction through the adductors, the squeezers between your thighs and the abductors, the glutes, okay? Um, yeah, we don't want to overdevelop the glutes at the, extent, at the expense of the adductors. I realize this is a chest exercise, but there we are. We're, we're, we're covering everything. All right, three, two, one, let's stop. Come to stand and take your dumbbells with you. We get the close grip um, hammer curls, and then we get the wide grip supinated curls. So go ahead and take it up. Wide grip here. Ah, close grip. Good. And wide grip. Very good. Close together. Get far. Keep swinging through that, right? Now, it's very important to stay strict on these biceps curls. It's very important to stay kind of in this nice box here, right? So we don't want to be, we don't want to have the arms swinging too much. We want to keep the elbows kind of close and tight. If you feel the biceps really working, you're on track. If you don't feel a lot of activity here, you're probably a little off base. So keep things nicely squeezed and nicely um, activated, okay? Five more seconds and we get into the triceps. And stop. Okay, good. Triceps, here we go. Stand tall, feet about shoulder width or so. Go ahead and take them overhead. Stretch it, our standard one, standard fair. Never get tired of your overhead tricep extension. It's good that this stretch is so good, right? Take it over, stretch. Now I'm doing a little rotation here. I'm adding that just because I like to do that. Okay, okay. sorry, I was confused. I was distracted by something like a pointer there, okay? I'm adding a little bit of rotation to that triceps rotation or tricep extension here. So you can throw that in as well if you want to. Let's go for about eight more seconds. And then we're going, to, going back to our sumo squat. Three, two, one, a stop. Good, okay, sumo squat. So the dumbbells hang down. So again, we're, we're talking about adductors here, the, the inside thighs, all right? We're taking it down as far as we can, keeping the torso upright, and then we're bringing it up. Now, this being the second set, you may be able to get a little bit lower, right? You wanna think about glutes, cracking walnuts with the glutes, and you wanna think about bringing the thighs together, like you're trying to crush the ground together. You get some nice activity in those adductors, very, very important, okay? Adductors, neglected lower body muscles. So it's the second largest behind the glutes, okay? That's someone said, a trainer said to me, you know what? Adductors are the new glutes. 
way into training glutes for so long now the legs are training. All right, 10 seconds to go. I guess I'm kind of falling for that, aren't I? All right. Good. Three, two, and stop. Good. Now, reverse lunge with the overhead opposite direction of reach, okay? So take a breath. Let's go ahead and drive one leg back. We're going to reach across ourselves with that same arm, okay? So it's a kind of, again, it's kind of superhero, right? Reverse lunge with the overhead reach. So I'm, we're taking this multi-directionalism into, uh, into our workout, yeah? So the, the line between a warm-up and a workout is actually more uh, fuzzy than people think, right? Exercises that are for warm-ups also can make really good exercises for a workout. Yeah, definitely the case here. So let's go for 10 more seconds on this as we contemplate that idea of what's the difference between a warm-up and a workout. What is that difference really? All right. And let's hold it right there. Good job. Taking it down into the abs. Taking it down into the abs. Opposite side. Right? Opposite side leg lowering. So find yourself in this position, right? Lift these legs as high as you can so we're strong with that stomach right from the beginning. Now go ahead and lower right leg and left arm. Right leg and left arm down toward the ground. We reach up toward the toes. Do the same thing on the other side. And then if we can, we lower everything down. Ah! Like that. And then reach. So up to, uh, up to you if you want to do that third version. Also up to you if you want to do the, the first version, you can also bend your knees a little bit and that can take a little bit of the pressure off if that's a tough one for you. So let's keep uh, uh, pounding through that for another 10 seconds and then we will uh, take ourselves a little second break here. Nice job, everybody. Three and two and one and stop, good job. Okay, walk around, have a drink of water. Contemplate this, you've now done 20 sets, 20 sets. Someday, go to the gym and surreptitiously watch a few people and see how few people get 20 sets in an hour, okay? You've done it in about 20 minutes, okay? 20 sets in 20 minutes. So very, very good work. We're very focused. We're getting the body all completely worked. All 625 muscles have all gotten some, a little bit of attention already. You probably feel pretty good. It's like, hey, my hips feel pretty good now. My shoulders feel all right now. I feel like I can move now. My spine feels nice and loose. I can go out dancing and feel cool, right? which is ultimately what we're all trying to do. Okay, so we got our third set coming up here. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to dial in the form even more, but at the same time, I want you to turn up the intensity a little bit, okay? So see how many good form reps activating the proper muscles you can do in the 30 second time period in each thing. So think about that as we start our jumping jacks right now. Here we go, let's go right into it. And you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel like, wow, the jumping jacks feel different than they did 20 minutes ago, because everything is nice and looped up now. We're nice and loose, right? We've taken, just by doing a little bit of movement, taken, I don't know, 20, 20, 20 30, 40 years off our lives, right? Back when you felt like, what is warm up even for, right? It's so funny, like you could, you could trace my athletic career by how much, how important warm up is to me. Good, let's stop right there. Okay, knees over toes squat. Here we go, go ahead and locate those dumbbells in a proper position so that you can elevate your heels on them properly. Let's get some stand tall, slowly sink down, activate legs at the bottom of the move and come back up. Knees over toes, squat. Knees over toes, squat. Ah, yes. A little different from our usual squat where like never put the knees over the toes. I never, I never say that, but I do think that this version is Maybe just a little more organic. I kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting won over by this movement. Initially, I was like, knees over toes, never. Now I'm like, you know what? I kind of like it. As long as it's a good form. As long as you execute with excellent form. All right. Time on that one. Good. Let's check that one off. We're going for, for lateral raise and front raise now. Okay. Lateral raise and front raise. Get your feet underneath you nicely organized. Take a breath. Lateral raise. Control and front raise. Now, this being the third set, if we want to add that little pump, pump at the top, we can. I would encourage you not to pump it at the top on that front raise, just on that lateral raise, okay? Keep cranking. Ah, oh, yes. Very, very well. Next move could be our heart. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all important, all good. All right, keep, keep moving about 10 seconds on this. It's warming up, therefore, the sweatshirt comes off. Okay, good. 
Next move is an RDL into the row. Now look, when you're doing the row, this is your top position. If you're looking at me from below, if you're a worm watching me do a row, this is the position I'd be in, okay? I'm gonna row like that. Okay, I'm gonna fold, row twice. So that's the position, not here, not here, not here, right? It's right there, okay? All right, keep running. Let's go for about 15 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. So get those lats fired up, those big muscles right there. They're among your most important muscles. All right, stop. Good. Take your dumbbells to that nice lying down position. All right, press up, lift the hips high, get a nice contraction through the gluteus. Give me a pop. Explosive work of the pecs. I talked about the adductors so much last time, but now think about the pecs. Lift the shoulder blades off the ground, get a good explosive move each time. Okay, run through that. Yep, run through that for uh, another 10 seconds. Good job, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. Right. And there's three and two and one. Good job. You got seven minutes left in this whole workout, friends. Let's get into the arms here, into those biceps. So really focus on the front of those arms. Get your feet organized underneath you, right? Not Asymmetrical, keep them nice and symmetrical. Here we go. Close together, far apart. I want you to fully extend the arms at the bottom of the movement. That's important, right? So don't stop it there, right? Fully extend the arms. Stay tall, work the posture while you do this move. And I guarantee, even with light weights, even if you have, you know, I don't know, a five or a, I've got tens, you're going to get some nice work through those biceps, okay? If you work with focus, all right? Let's go 10 seconds. I'm going to go into triceps. Good job. Good job. Good job. Five, three, two, one, zero. Okay, nice job. Let's take the dumbbells overhead. Oh. Take them overhead. Put them together. Stretch it. Oh, that's so nice. Up overhead. Again, if you want to add that rotation, please do. Add the rotation. Take it up. Add the rotation. Take it up. Run it through. Keep going through backs and the arms. Very important muscle, very important muscle group. They tend to get a little bit. People are always like, what do I do with the bat wings? This is it. This is it. This is how we do it. Right? This is how we solve the bat wing problem. Got the arm, got the, the uh, work in those triceps. Keep going for about another 10 seconds, and then we'll move on. Oh, yes, our sumo squat. How about that? Yeah, three great moves at the end here. So go ahead and take your dumbbells to center feet are turned out go with a kind of wide stance here okay take it down stretch the adductors then squeeze them as you come up so this is a mind in muscle kind of move the sumo squat okay mind in muscle yeah so we really need to think about those supporting adductors so when you come up squeeze your way up to center trying to crush the ground together also use your glutes to crack walnuts so those are the key muscles there those supporting muscles in the legs, okay? Let's go for 10 more seconds in these. So really get those, uh, those key muscles there fired up. Five seconds to go. Yes, and time, good. Second to last movement is our reverse lunge with the opposite direction reach. Reverse lunge, opposite direction reach. We're taking a breath here. We're reaching down and across. We're stepping down and reaching up and across, I should say. Up and across. Yep, good. So find that nice, there is a fascial line, meaning fascia, the, the, um, the connective tissue throughout the whole body that goes from one hip all the way out and up. And we're kind of working that as we do this. All right, good. Let's keep running through. Give me about oh, 15 seconds. I think I worked this a little bit longer because, you know, it's an important one. And then I'm going to finish with some abs. Nice job, everybody. Right, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. Five seconds to go. Good job, everybody. Three, two, and hold it right there. Okay, good. Let's go into abs. Let's go into abs. Hey, I might even toss in some fun extra ab things here if we're so inclined. Take the legs up. Find the stretch. Flex the feet back. Let's lower. Arm opposite leg. Arm opposite leg. 
You move with your own and push with your legs. Bomb up the submit. Kick the booty. All right. And of course, as I said, always the bonus one if you want to do both down at the same time. You can. Do not do that if you have any kind of back pain. Do not do that if you have any kind of back pain. Um, or if, if you're going to experiment with that, go crazy slow and really make sure you keep those abs really tight. Okay, it's super important. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Well done, everybody. Yes. Nice. Five, three, two, stop. Good. Let's take it down into plank. So flip it over. Last move. We're just going to toss a little plank in here. We're going to get the elbows in front of the shoulders. We're going to tuck the thumbs under if we can. And we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. No movement. Draw the head back. This is one movement to help us with our posture. Okay. Most of us are going to go into a day where we're doing a lot of sitting. Yes, I'll be doing some sitting today. So I want to make sure that my flexible muscles wind up really fired up. Three, two, stop. Okay, nice job. Oh, there we go. Look, we're in all fours position. So let's go ahead and kind of finish where we started. But now just enjoy the fact that the back is really happy. Got a lot of nice movement there. Breathing. Oh. Good. Now look, here's what I want you to do. Take the legs, but swing them to the right and to the left. Swing the lower legs to the right and to the left. Both to the right, both to the left. And then go both out and then cross them over. Both out, cross over. And when you cross over, cross a different one on top of each other. We're paying attention to little hip rotators here, which are often neglected, particularly the internal rotators right there when the legs go out. Right? So interesting little stretch there. Right? Slowly come on up to stand. We got about a minute to go. So let's go ahead and just do a little bit of moving here. Bring the uh, the legs wide, bring the arms wide. Switch up and back. Ah, enjoy that. You open this through. The whole chest. Take the arms and just kind of waft them back ultimately. You want to improve your posture, you want to improve your mood, you want to improve the way you stand. Do this now and then when you're walking along the street, taking a walk, do this a little bit. You will feel instantly better, just a little bit. And you can coordinate it with your with your steps as well. Right? Good. Take it out. Let's go ahead and roll it over. Slowly come up. Bring the arms up, bring the arms together, palms together, draw the palms right down, center of the chest. Oh, close your eyes for a minute. Oh, enjoy. Nice sense of vivacity coursing through your veins. You're ready to face that Monday. You're not afraid. Facing that lion of Monday, right? Deep breaths. Good. And then slowly take the arms down by the sides. Ah, take a breath out. Good job, my friends. Elizabeth and Stephen, you guys are the tough ones today. You guys are the ones with the gumption to get on the stick on a Monday morning. So thanks a lot for being here. Have a good, um, have a good Monday. I'll see everybody on Wednesday. Thank uh, you. All right. Take care, everybody. Farewell.